Here is a quick video about how I made a timing belt winder out of a cheap Home Depot tape measure. I disassembled the tape measure and removed a spool that contained the spring and tape. I disconnected the tape and took the cap off the spool. I then carefully pulled the spring out of the spool and transferred it to my own 3D printed spool. The end of the spring has a leader on it with a notch in it. The leader slides into a slot and the notch catches on a raised ledge. The end of the timing belt goes in the other end of the slot which has teeth to mesh with the timing belt teeth. The rest of the belt is wound around the spool. The spool is placed in a frame. The end of the belt feeds out through a tube. I folded over the end of the belt and attached a cable tie. This keeps the end of the belt from going back into the tube. The final step is to add a cover to the frame. This cover has a post with a slot in it. The slot goes over the center, folded portion of the spring to fix that end. The cover is spun about four times to preload the spring before it is screwed on. The belt, when the belt is pulled, it spins the spool. One end of the spring spins, but the other end is fixed by the cover post. That's what creates the load on the spring. That's it. It only takes about three minutes to assemble.